Wow. We are going to start our online session with a song. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> so we are going to learn an action song. Okay. Not the usual Portuguese songs that we already have heard at weddings and parties. But this is an easy children's song oh, okay. that we all know in English. Oh, but now we are going to translate it and sing it in Portuguese. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. okay. I think most of you must have sung this song for your children oh, okay. or nephews or nieces or your friends' children. Some of you yes. may have sung it to your grandchildren. Yes. Let's go over these words. Children, filhos. Filhos. Filha. Filha. Okay. Nevius, nieces. Sobrinho, sobrinha. Okay. Amigo. Amigo. Okay. Neta. Neto is a grandson. Neta is granddaughter. So today we sing the song in Portuguese, the same tune, the same words, the same beat, but we are going to sing the words in our favorite language, that's Portuguese, and perhaps we'll sing it at our picnic. Oh, wow. <laughs> we are going to do it, we'll sing it at our picnic. It's coming very soon. <laughs> so we are all young spirited. So it's a it's a children's song, but we can sing it just like children. Okay, the song is the wheels of the bus go round and round. <laughs> Everybody knows it, right? Yes, yes. But today we are not going to say the wheels of the bus go round and round. We are going to say as rodas. Rodas is the wheel. Okay? So let's go over the words. Let's go over the words first. And uh, uh, Lorraine, if you will put the words of the song, please. Yes, yes. One minute. Yeah. So the uh, bus is uh, the bus. I translated it as onibus. Auto -carro. Actually, it's autocarro. Autocarro is a bus. But autocarro is too, uh, too long. So I made it onibus. Okay? And what is girar? Girar is to turn round and round. Okay? Girar. Girar. G-I-R-A-R. Girar is to go round. Uh, to go round. Okay, a minha cabeça está a girar. It means my head is going round. Cabeça is my head. Okay, but here our heads are not going round. The wheels of the bus are going round and round. So let's go through the words. As rodas do ônibus giram, giram, giram. As rodas do ônibus giram, giram, giram pela cidade. All round the town. Okay, is not a, a real translation, but we have to make it easy. Okay, pela cidade means through the city. Okay, so as rodas do ônibus giram pela cidade. The wheels of the bus. Giro, turn around, through the city. Os passageiros no ônibus sobe e desce. Subir, subir is to climb. Subir is one of the few irregular verbs that is not uh, conjugated exactly like other verbs in IR, but a little differently. So it will be uh, sobe e desce. Descer is to come, come down. So go up and down, we say in English. But here we are going to say subir e descer. That is to climb into the bus and to get off the bus. Coming down. So subir is to climb, to go up. And descer is to come down. So 
this these are the new words that we are learning along with learning the song so the next slide uh, lone we'll go to the next we'll go to the words first a buzina do onibush farsh p p p buzina is horn a buzina buzina okay buzina is horn the horn of the onibus makes farsh fazer is to do or to make i think we have done this ver verb in the uh, irregular verbs fazer is to do or to make so it does p p p pela sidad okay the, the rest of the words are the same now os limpadores do ônibus limpadores are the wipers limpar is to wipe or to clean limpar is to wipe okay so uh, to clean it to make it dry limpar so os limpadores do ônibus limpo 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 okay so limpar is to clean it is a, a regular verb just like andar falar whatever we have done okay so again pela cidad so we'll go to the next one and see a few more words as luzes luzes is the plural of luz a luz the light as luzes so as luzes do ônibus fazem blink 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 they they do blink 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 okay the next word is o motor o motor do ônibus faz vrum 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 so it is o motor is the motor okay the engine o motor is the engine o bebê no ônibus o que é bebê bebê is the baby the baby in the bus makes where 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 okay so bebê means baby now o bebê and a bebê if it is a girl, a girl baby you say a bebê o bebê is the boy baby okay so next one is there another slide yeah o pai os pais do bebê fazem they ask the baby to keep quiet os pais what is pais parents the it's different from pais when there is an accent on the i in the word is pais pais is country o país is the country and os pais o pai a mãe together they are os pais os pais means the parents the parents of the baby make shu 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 a mamã do bebê diz eu te amo what is the meaning of that yo te amo i love you the mama of the baby says i love you okay so now let's go back to the beginning of the song and we will sing it okay and i think uh, i have asked uh, edith and marcia and ined i don't know if she is there to help me to sing because my voice cracks and so i have asked edith marcia and in it here to help me so please let's sing together uh lorraine put the slide on the screen please yes the first one yes yes that's right okay so as rodas do onibus giram 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 
Giram, giram, giram. Giram, giram, giram. As rodas do ônibus giram, giram, giram. Pela cidade. Os passageiros do ônibus sobem e descem. Sobem e descem. Sobem e descem. Os passageiros. I think. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, instead of passageiros, maybe we should put as pessoas. Okay, we will change that for you a little later, but instead of, uh, we'll say the as pessoas. Pessoa means person. Okay, passageiros, I translated it in a hurry and I didn't realize. So the passengers is a little too long. Passageiros is passengers, but uh, being too long, we'll use the word os, uh, uh, as pessoas, as pessoas, yeah. okay? The people, as pessoas, the persons, actually, uh, literally, it means pessoa is person. As pessoas no ônibus, sobe e desce, sobe e desce, sobe e desce. As pessoas no ônibus, sobe e desce. Easy, right? A buzina do ônibus faz... No, again. A buzina do ônibus faz... Pi, pi, pi. Pi, pi, pi. Pi, pi, pi. A buzina do ônibus faz... Pi, pi, pi. Pela cidade... Os limpadores do ônibus fa limpa 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 Blink, 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 blink. As luzes do ônibus fazem blink, blink, blink. Pela cidade. O do ônibus faz brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. O motor do ônibus faz brum, brum, brum. Pela cidade, o bebê, o bebê no ônibus faz ué, 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 o bebê no ônibus faz ué, 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 pela cidade. Os pais do bebê fazem chu, chu, chu. Chu, 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 os pais do bebê fazem chu, 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 pela cidade. A mamãe do bebê diz, eu te amo, eu te amo, eu te amo. A mamãe do bebê diz, eu te amo, pela cidade. Okay, this all these words need a little touch up. The words need a lot of touching up. Okay, but everybody knows the meanings of these words now, right? A rodas, rodas is wheels. Wheels. Passageiros is passengers. Passageiros. Os passageiros. Okay, but we are going to say as pessoas. Instead of passageiros, we are going to change it to as pessoas. As pessoas. Okay. Uh, subir and descer. Subir is S-U-B-I-R. It is a verb in I-R. It is an irregular verb. And descer is a regular verb ending with E-R and conjugated normally, like a regular verb, okay? An onibus is a bus. 
the other word for bus is autocar. You vou the autocarro means I'm going by bus. You gosto andar the autocar. I like to go by bus. Andar has got, andar actually means to walk, but andar also means to go. Andar uh, in Portuguese has got very many meanings, which I will tell you as we, uh, as we progress. Okay. Andar can be used as go. Just like in English, uh, we use the word to go for a walk or to go hunting or uh, to go have fun. We, we can use the word andar in a, um, in, a, in a lot of ways. So here we have the verb, word subir and this ser. That is to climb and to come down. So you gosh to andar the onibus means I like to go by bus. Or you gosh to andar the autocar. I like to go by bus. The next one, the next line. Buzina. Buzina is the horn. Buzina. Faz, fazer. Fazer is to do or to make. The sound that it makes is PPP. Limpadores. Limpadores are the vipers. O limpador, os limpadores. Single one is o limpador, the wiper. And os limpadores are the wipers of the bus. Limpão. Eles limpam. They clean. They wipe. Okay, limpar. To wipe. The next word. As luzes. A luz is the light. The light is a luz. As luzes is the lights. Okay? O motor. O motor is the engine. O motor faz brum. O bebê. O bebê is the baby. O bebê and a bebê. If you're talking of a boy baby, is o bebê. And a girl baby is a bebê. And the last one is os pais. I think you know this by now. Os pais do bebê. Os pais means the parents. A mamã, you know, is the mother. Eu te amo. I love you. Amar is to love. Amor is love. Amar is the verb. Is to love. Eu amo. Tu amas. Você ama. Ele ama. Before, before that. O senhor ama. A senhora ama. This is all. Can be used as a second person or the third person. O senhor and a senhora. When you are talking to uh, respectfully to someone, you use the words o senhor. And otherwise also, o senhor is ele. Okay? O senhor ama. A senhora ama. Nós amamos. Just like the verbs andar and falar. Regular verb, amar is also a regular verb ending in AR. So, nós amamos, vocês amam, eles amam, elas amam. Okay? So, now I think we will, we will uh, change this a little bit. And on, I will send it to you on the group chat after correction of these words, 
and also we will try to have uh, some music. Um, uh, Edith suggested to me that I should I could ask uh, uh, Fatima, her sister, and because uh, her son may, if he has time, he may help us. So, if you are all ready to sing, let's sing it at the picnic. Right? Okay. Now, uh, uh, someone, some of you, two of you, have asked me to go over the meal-related words again. So I would like to go over the meal-related words over again. All right? So uh, the words that we started with were kumer. Kumer is a tweet. And kumida, kumida, eatables. Kumida is food. Kumida is what we eat. And so, kumer and kumida are the words that we use regarding food. Upikano almost. Upikano almost is breakfast. Vo fazer upikano almost means I'm going to do my breakfast. Vo fazer. Upikeno almosu. Okay? Almosu is lunch. Almosu. Please be careful that when you write the word almosu, or if you see it somewhere, the C will see have a little uh, comma behind uh, below it, which is makes it sir. Otherwise, it is almoku. If you don't put that little, uh, little yeah. comma there, it becomes Almoku. So this is almosu, is lunch. Jantar. Jantar is dinner. Okay? You can say, I'm going to dine. I'm going to have dinner is yo vo jantar. I'm going to have dinner is vo jantar. A entrada. A entrada is the starter. Entrada. As entradas, the starters. As entradas would be a plural for starters. O prato principal. O prato principal. The main dish. The main dish is called o prato principal. And the the word for the dish that you go, goes along with it is o acompanhamento. Acompanhamento is to accompany. The dish that uh, that accompanies the main dish is called acompanhamento. Okay? The next word that we have, uh, we have is vegetariano. You see the spelling, pronunciation of this vegetariano. It is not vegetariano. Okay, when you uh, write uh, say words in Portuguese, the r is a very important part of the language. R. Okay, vegetariano. Not in English we say vegetarian. Vegetarian, but in Portuguese we say vegetariano. Je. Vegetariano. It was. It's nice for new uh, people who are fresh to Portuguese to say these words aloud. Vegetariano, and get uh, familiarized with the sounds. A sobremesa. Sobremesa is the dessert. Sobremesa. So, a carne de vaca. Carne. See, carne mm -hmm. is another word. Normally, the words that end in A are feminine words. The words that end in O are masculine words. So, a carne. E o peixe. There's no real reason, but the words end with E. But it is a carne. O peixe. All right, peixe is P E I X E, peixe. So, a carne de vaca. Vaca is a cow. So, 
a carne in the vaca refers to uh, cow meat or beef. We call it commonly beef. A carne in the porco is pork meat. A carne the porco. Porco is a pig. Laytown. Laytown is a pigling. So a carne, uh, leitauzinho, they call it. Uh, as I told you earlier, the Portuguese like to make diminutives of everything. And they usually say leitauzinho. O frango. The next word is o frango. Frango is chicken. Is a is a little chicken. Uh, the 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 parents of the frango are galinha and galo. Galinha is a hen, and galo is a cock. So a, a galo we did in the galo de Barcelos, the rooster, right? So, frango is the chicken. A galinha is the hen. And o galo is the rooster. A sopa. A sopa, the soup. O arroz. Arroz is rice. Uh, note that the... The two R's are rolled. Arroz. You, you should not say arroz. Arroz is uh, not acceptable. Okay? Arroz. You have to roll like a like a little child who so, who rolls the tongue to to make sounds. You have to roll your tongue and say arroz. Cario. Cario. Okay? See, you don't roll when there is a single R in the middle. You don't roll it so much. When the R comes in the beginning, also you roll it quite a bit. But when there is a double R, it has to be rolled properly. Arroz and cario. Cario is curry. You are noticing these words that end with L, R, and Z. They are, they are stressed on the last syllable. Ka, real. And you say, ka, real. A fruta. A fruta is the fruit. And uh, see here, when you say fruits, in English, when we say fruits, the same way uh, in Portuguese you can say os frutos. Okay, so you see, but commonly it is uh, the fruit. You commonly say a fruta, meaning all kinds of fruits. Okay, so a fruta is the fruit. A manga. That's easy. A manga, the mango. A banana, a batata, batata. Okay, now here's os legumes. There are other words for the vegetables. You also can say a uh, hortaliça, hortaliça, or as hortaliças. Usually earlier, you know. Uh, this word legumes is used more um, nowadays. And commonly, they, it used to uh, refer to cooked vegetables. Uh, vegetables like uh, uh, carrots and uh, uh, French beans, uh, mm. broccoli. All this was us legumes, the cooked vegetables. And there was, there was another word called verdura. Mm -hmm. Verdura mm -hmm. is uh, also referring more to greens. You know, just like in English, uh, we say vegetables and we say greens. Another word for vegetables is sometimes greens, the greens. The greens. So, os legumes, a hortaliça, as hortaliças, a verdura, all this means the vegetables. Verdura. 
okay it's it uh, comes from the derived from the word verde verdura the greens okay it all refers verdura hortaliça hortaliça is a more common verb um, word meaning all kinds of vegetables greens as well as the vegetables that can be cooked and should be cooked of course nowadays we have variations in all kinds of food variations variações okay now o tomate o tomate is the tomato a cenoura the carrot a laranja the orange o ananás ananás oh we are uh, going past our time maybe we should continue later we don't want to delay everyone okay so we still have some words to go through but we will go through those words again later next time okay so in the meantime i will send you the the words of the song i hope i can make it uh, a little more singable and uh, we'll sing it for the for the picnic sure yes bye bye adeus 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 to todos first i have to say obrigada shanti <laughs> you have really got on obrigada yo yes.